Hey YouTube, I wanted to share with you my favorite EDC knife currently uh, to date. Um, I love this knife. This is the Chris Reeve Insingo. It's based on the 21 uh, model with a little different blade shape. We've got this modified Warncliffe blade. Um, this is an absolute outstanding EDC knife. Um, it's perfect in my opinion. Um, I'm a little bit, I have a background with slip joint knives. I've collected those for many years and still do. And the Warncliffe blade shape is a very popular design with the slip joint crowd. Uh, if you look on there, the custom knife makers are all making Warncliffe's um, very popular design. And uh, this one is not quite a Warncliffe. It's modified. In fact, I, I thought it was uglier than anything when I first uh, looked at or saw this thing when it first came out. Um, but then it really started to grow on me, and then when I actually purchased one, I saw how how great the shape blade shape was for EDC TAS. It has a little belly, as you can see there, which is just enough to uh, to help with the EDC TAS that you might need, your cutting needs. Um, it's not straight across, which I think is a great design to give that, that just a little bit of belly there. But what I like about it, and I think um, some other people on YouTube have, have pointed out, is that when you're holding this knife and you're going to point some, uh, cut something, the point is where you're pointing at. It's right there. Unlike other knives like the 21 or the Classic, when you're doing this, your tip is high, and so you're actually having to bend your hand down to get the tip somewhere if you need to um, pierce or point into a package or um, whatever you're cutting there. But with the Insingo, it's right there. It's an extension of your hand. You're just making your cut, closing it. Just a great knife. This one is a uh, one of the first runs. They, they came out, um, I can't even remember offhand the year they came out, but uh, um, What's the, uh, I'm losing it now. The company that came out with these, uh, Knife Art, uh, came out with 50, a limited run of 50, and these were numbered. And then after that, they went into production. They had that, I believe it was 2010, um, when they came out with these. And um, I was lucky enough to grab this one. This is 8 of 50 from a forum member. This one has a Scotch Bright finish. That was put on later. Very smooth knife. This is pre-Idaho made. Very clean and simple. Just a great knife. I love this knife. This is I love the small. I'm really into small, smaller knives these days. They're just nice to uh, to keep in your pocket, not not flash or intimidate anyone, and and get the job done that you need to get done. And this definitely fills the bill. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Quick video, just wanted to share this. One, uh, definitely my favorite EDC knife, Chris Reeve and Singo, small and Singo. Take care.